Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. Welcome back to my vlog. My name is Aretha. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by. Hopefully you will gain some information or knowledge that will make you want to come back. So um, as you can see from my first clip, there is snow and there is more snow on the way. This is highly unusual for Seattle since I've been living here now. I've been told differently by someone else that was born and raised here and is about 60 some years old that, but since I've been here about, I'm gonna say 17 years, this is highly unusual to have this kind of snow in it to just linger. It would snow and then it would just get washed away in a few days. If there has been snow on the ground, heavy snow for a week. And it snowed again last night. So, um, Snow day, yeah. It's snowmageddon going on here in Seattle. So it's not gonna be a whole lot going on with me cause obviously I'm not getting out the house. Um, if you watched my last video, I still have some food left over. I have a little bit of taco meat. I have a little bit of um, meatloaf. So we may prepare one meal and I'm, Still debating on what that would be. Oh, yeah. While I'm here just rambling and talking, I did go to the store yesterday, venture out, and you know how the stores get when it's snow. Well, especially in a place where it doesn't get this kind of snow and people tend to panic, but I'm already kind of well stocked up. I picked up some from Whole Foods, some bacon wrapped scallops. Oh my God. So I actually took out some ground beef, but then again, I might cook a few of those bacon wrapped scallops though. So I'm like, hmm, that sounds really good. And Whole Foods was a whole mess yesterday. This, I have to say, this was the first time I've seen it packed before. So that's, you know, nothing new. But this had to be the first time I saw bare shells. At Whole Food, I mean nothing there, and I got there about I want to say nine thirty ten or something, and I was like, "Wow!" And I get up in the line to check. Of course, there was a line, and to check out, and the um, checker was saying, "Well, last night it was ten times worse. The lines were looped all the way back to the meat counter," and I'm like, "Holy crap!" So, um, yeah, we're having a difficult time here, but again, not as difficult as some of the people were experiencing in Chicago, cause I know that was just downright brutal. This here is bad for us, only because it's not flat. Seattle is not flat, it's like this. So if it was just plain and flat, I think navigating even in snow without ice would be okay. But you mix in the ice, with all these hills and the snow, it paralyzes the whole place. So again, if you're in Chicago, my heart goes out to you. It's, I know it's, it's bad there in the negatives. It's not even in the negatives here. It's, I think the coldest has gotten, I wanna say 12. I, 11. Oh, oh, excuse me, I stand corrected, 11. So I got my coffee, I'm gonna drink that. I'll get back to you guys and we're going to figure out breakfast. Okay, here's my blood sugar. So we're back. We're going to start with uh, my first meal of the day. It is now 10.51. So what I'm thinking, I'm going to fry up an egg. I have some homemade bread, which is not made from any of the flowers. It's actually made from um, hemp heart. And I think I showed everyone making this. Excuse me, I think I showed you guys how I made it. If not, comment below and I'll do a video on it. And one pork sausage. So I'm going to make a little sandwich. And once I pull it all together, I will be right back. Okay, this is the breakfast sandwich. I am going to eat this um, and then um, figure out what my next meal will be. And... But we're gonna do the rest of the day to keep it from being boring. Thank you. See you then. Okay, we are back to prepare a meal. 
And it's going to be a um, no cheese pizza bake. And I'm just pulling this out of my behind and we're going to improvise as we go. So hopefully it'll turn out right. So I'm going to have some ground beef. I may not use all that ground beef. Um, pepperoni. Um, tomato sauce. Nutritional yeast. Pizza seasoning. Garlic. And some onion powder. So what I'm going to do is saute up the ground beef and it does not have to be completely done because it's going to go in the oven. And I don't think I need, I'm trying to think, I don't think I need all of this. So, but I do need all the pepperoni. Okay, maybe we use half of this package and get that sauteed up. And then I'm going to mix in the pepperoni. I'm going to cut up the pepperoni a little bit smaller and mix it in. And what we're going to do is have the tomato sauce. Oh, yeah, and two eggs with the tomato sauce. Blend it together with all the seasonings and spices. And we're going to um, mix everything together and put it in the oven. So let me get the ground beef going. And then I'll show you um, the next steps. And this is what the pepperoni looks like. Here's the ground beef. I'm gonna mix the ground beef into the um, pepperoni. And this is it all mixed together. Now we're gonna pull the sauce together. Okay, we've blended up everything into my um, little blender. And we're gonna pour the sauce in the bowl and mix everything around and I will show you the actual finished product when I put it into a casserole dish. And this is what it looks like in the pan. Under there I have some red onions, about a little less than a quarter cup. I'm going to pour the rest of the sauce over this and I'm going to put it in the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes to start and keep checking it out thereafter. And while that is cooking, I made myself a chocolate green smoothie. So all it is, is some um, of these greens, um, ice, and some of this um, almond chocolate, almond milk, with a little bit of stevia. For some reason, my body was just saying, make a smoothie, a green smoothie. So I'm just gonna listen to my body. I'm going to drink this down while we have our food in the oven cooking and hopefully in the next five minutes or so it will be done and I'll check back in. Okay, the finished product. It is hot. So if you choose to make this, actually you don't have to use the eggs the way I did. I use the eggs as a binder because I can't use cheese. So normally in this you would just throw in cheese and mix it in all together um, and it would hold together so I had to use the egg but I will let this cool and who knows we may do a taste test or I may just try to finish up those leftovers that I have in my fridge so I will be checking in with you guys a little bit later when I eat my final meal okay this is my final meal so this is the rest of the um, taco meat and some lettuce. And I'm just gonna stir this all together and have this. I'm gonna eat this down and I'll be back with you for some final words. Okay, I am here to wrap this up. I know it was not very exciting today because I did not do a lot of cooking. I had leftovers and there was a point today where we lost power for a couple of hours and thank God it was only a couple of hours. Normally when we lose power here in my area, it's a couple days. So the fact that they got it back on in a few hours, I think the power went out, I wanna say one something maybe. 
yeah, won something. And I called and the estimated time was 4.30 and the power was back on by 3 or something. So I was, I, I was impressed. So I was late, you know, getting the rest of my cooking done. So, but it's okay. Stuff happens and you have to adjust. But I'm sorry this was just kind of like a boring kind of a day. Um, I was snowed in, nothing a whole lot to do. So life not exciting. So, but I do want to thank you for stopping by to watch me and to watch my journey so far. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share and comment below. And I will be back with another video. Thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful day.